Welcome to the GCSE PE information video. We hope to provide you with some key details about the course. cardiovascular system looking at how the heart and lungs work to help us when we exercise through to aspects of sports psychology looking at motivation and personality and sociocultural aspects of sport where we'll look at the reasons uh, for people participating or not participating in sports reasons why athletes might be persuaded to take performance enhancing drugs we also look at methods of training um, and how athletes will improve their performance in sport as well as the importance of health and well-being and diet on our own performance in sport. The theory assessment is made up of two exams, each lasting an hour and 15 minutes. The exams contain multiple choice questions, short answer questions and extended writing questions. There will be a maximum of nine marks. In GCSE PE, you will have one theory lesson per week in the classroom. However, we do try to make these as active and interactive as possible. On the side, you will see some examples of some of the tasks that students have created during our lessons this year. Alongside your theory lesson, you'll have one hour of practical each week. Throughout the course, you'll be assessed in a team sport, an individual sport, and the third sport will be either team or individual. There are a wide range of sports to choose from. This is not something you have to choose at the beginning of year 10. The PE department will work alongside you in order to ensure that you have the best three sports in order to get the best marks at the end of the course. We often get asked, do I need to be participating in sport outside of school? The answer is not necessarily. However, naturally you're going to have an advantage if you're taking part in a sport that we cannot offer at school, such as rock climbing. We do provide a range of activities in school that will support your practical assessment. Each of your practical sports will be assessed out of 25 and that's broken into two sections. The first being the skill section, which is out of 10 marks. For this, we will set up a range of drills to focus on all the different skills needed within your sport. The second section looks at your game and full context situation. So for dance, this may be a dance performance or it could be a netball or a football game. And that section is assessed out of 15 marks where we're looking at your effectiveness in the game. We often get asked why you should study GCSE PE. The theory content of the course covers a wide range of topics which are useful for A-levels. For example, if you were thinking of studying psychology or sociology, the GCSE PE course will give you great insight into these. A lot of students ask us about the anatomy and physiological aspects of the course as they are sometimes concerned about the biological nature of these aspects. 
We say to students that actually it's very useful taking GCSE PE alongside your sciences and your biology as there's lots of crossover between the two and it can be very useful when it comes to your exams and revision content. I enjoy GCSE PE because I think that it really helps my science and all the other subjects that I'm learning and I like to learn about how the human body moves and how that helps us in sport. I also enjoy it because I really like having a wide range of sports which I can participate in and I like having the opportunity to expand and develop my skills. The thing that I like most about GCSE PE is that it's slightly out of my comfort zone and different from the rest of my subjects. I enjoy learning about how the body works and love taking part in the practical les lessons, which are great fun, but also help me to develop skills in multiple different sports. I would definitely recommend GCSE PE because it is really fun and there are loads of opportunities to play a variety of sports. There are also loads of jobs in careers linked to GCSE PE, such as a physiotherapist or a doctor. We hope this video gave you a better insight to the GCSE PE course. If you do have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact your PE teacher.